one on Fit Nation. This is T Flow. This is Q and A with T Flow. It's kind of like a Q and A. I'm gonna let you guys drop the questions at the end of the broadcast, but I'm gonna answer the three most, you know, common questions people inbox me and ask me. But real quick, if you didn't know, I am the weight loss wizard, T Flow, and um, over the past six years, I was able to drop 150. Well nearly 150 pounds of weight and just hard work dedication um consistency all this stuff that most people don't want to hear but that's how that's how i, I did it um that's my method and that's the method i put into my training but enough of that let me know what where you're, where you're viewing from columbus in the building a town montgomery put it in the comments where you repping from, where you are watching this broadcast from, because it's about to go down. I'm about to give y'all the three most common questions people ask me. And then after that, I'm going to let you ask questions and hopefully we can answer a couple questions uh, before the broadcast ends. I'm not going to make it too, too long, but I thought it was very important to just answer the question to the masses. And I know people are going to still inbox, and that's fine. I love the inboxes. I love to interact with people who are interested in fitness, but I think I'm just going to put it out there. Um, what I'm going to do is because most of the questions that I get asked are by women, just being honest, but guys do ask me questions too. So I'm going to say, I'm going to answer two questions that uh, women ask me the most, um, and then I answer one that the, uh, that the guys answer the most. So they're, they're both just, they're totally different. So. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, the first thing that most women ask me <laughs> is... How can I get this stomach snatched and still keep my booty? That's right. I mean, that's what, I mean, I get that so much. I don't want to lose this, but I want to lose that. And I'm sorry, ladies, it doesn't work like that. But the good news is, well, let me explain why it doesn't work like that. You have a genetic code with your body, how your bone and your muscle structure is. That was made before your mom and daddy were here. So when it got to you, once your DNA mixed with them, you have a, a genetic code. And whatever your body type is, outside of surgery or something like that, that's gonna be your natural form. So once you start to shrink your natural physique with your muscle and bone structure becomes more prominent. So if if, if you're you know you're if you're a little thick delicious and you have a nice shape, I promise you, when you lose some weight, you're still gonna have a nice shape, baby. That booty might not be as big, but it's still gonna be straight. You know what I'm saying? So the second um, most common thing women um, ask me, and this one right here, ladies, uh, I don't want to work out with weights because I don't want to look like a man. And that's, 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 or uh, will working out with weights make me look like a man? And the, the answer to that, ladies, is no, it will not. Those, those ladies that you see, it's, it's just a couple things going on, okay? The, the big ladies you see, the top like, yeah, 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 yeah. Most of them are taking um, steroids and stuff. And that's unnatural. I mean, that's just, they're, they're on a whole nother level. So they're lifting big weight, heavy weight, but they're also on all kind of other stuff to make them look like that. And those are the big, massive women you see with the, like, guys. And the other ones, you see the smaller ones who are real, real cut up and lean. Some of them on the juice too, but the ones that are more natural, they are in uh, competition. They're not, they don't walk around like that all year long. So when you, come, when you compete, you have to diet down just to show your muscle structure and have no body fat. So... That's just because they, 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 they stopped eating. It was because of the weights. And if you, I follow uh, tons of them on Instagram. And if you look at them during the off season, they just have the most amazing bodies just because their, their fat to, to, to muscle ratio is just perfect. Now, when they're comp competing, yeah, it gets real, you know, veiny and all that stuff right there, which is a not a pleasant look for a, a lady to, to most. But that's just like for a couple of days while they're competing and then they go back to their normal look, okay? So that's two for the ladies. And one for the guys. The guys is, is, is real simple. Um, when it comes to the guys, most guys ask me, they'll tell me their problem, then they ask me, how can I get started? And not all of them want to get started with 4.0 Fitness. Some of them are asking just how can they start uh, just, just, just getting fit or, or, or just, just getting uh, start a uh, program. And my answer is to everybody is the same. My, my starter program is real simple. If you really want to do fitness outside of a, a tragedy or, or, or um, just super bad weather, walk for 30 days for 30 minutes. If you can walk for 30 days to 30 minutes outside of those conditions I told you, then you're ready. 
if you make one excuse why you can't do it, outside of being a medical condition or the previous thing I just said, then you ain't ready. Because my fitness journey, like I said, I think I'm, I'm, think I'm working on year seven. It's a lifestyle. You have to be willing to make a change. So part of uh, making a change, and I realized this strategy over the years, is forming good habits. Consistency is a good habit. So if you can consistently walk for 30 days, then you might be ready to start your fitness program. If you can't, you're making excuses. If you miss days, if you only go 10 days out of the 30, then you, you, you haven't built that level of consistency it's going to take to make a change in your body, okay? So right now we are going to, um, I tell you what, because I don't want to make this too long. You guys and girls, leave the comments. Leave your questions in the comments. Any question you want to you wanna ask me, uh, once again, like I said, I just I just go off my own experiences for the most part and, and research and study what I've done. So I don't know the answer to everything, but if I can help you, I will. Leave the questions in the comments. Thank you for watching the Q and A with T Flow with 4.0 Fit. Make sure you push notifications on all our videos. Make sure you share this particular video. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate the 4.0 Fit Nation, all my team members, to the top, baby. That's where we're going. 4.0 Fit. Salute.